This is a special year for professional wrestling. Why? Because tonight we just witnessed the Wednesday Night War. Ladies and gentlemen, I have no words of what has happened. This year is the year of professional wrestling and we are back once again for another competition between AEW and NXT. And guys, can, may I say that they certainly, no pun intended, shock the system. That is right. They have certainly shocked the system of professional wrestling and sports entertainment itself. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to give the, the points and grade the overall performance of both shows as they are competing in both time slots, AEW and NXT, USA Network versus TNT in a professional wrestling genre, sports entertainment. I don't know what to say guys, it has been a long time coming. But however ladies and gentlemen, there's one thing for sure, that both of these shows have major differences in creative but they have one certain similarity and that is passion over profit it had certainly been a while since I've seen professional wrestling returning back to its roots full of passion full of creative ideas over profit and I'm certainly excited of that. It has certainly taken me back to my childhood days during the Ruthless Aggression era. In the 90s, we saw the Attitude Era, WCW vs WWE. In the 2000s, we saw WWE vs TNA. And now, in the 2010s, finally, WWE has a new competition. And that is AEW. Even though it's not really WWE, Competing directly to AEW, NXT is their spearhead against AEW. And may I say, guys, both shows did perfectly on their de declaration of war. We saw the returns of familiar faces for AEW, the return of Jack Swagger, now known as Jack Hager. Weird name, but it's still good that he is back in the professional wrestling. And we also, in TN, in NXT, we saw the return of Tommaso Ciampa and none, and none other as the legendary NXT champion, Finn Balor. What can I say, guys? Professional wrestling has certainly revolutionized. Even though we see that Triple H and Cody Rhodes are bringing passion into the sports entertainment. We know, we now know that this is certainly going to be a war of who has the best professional wrestling in the sports entertainment. Now we all know that Vince McMahon is out of this as he does not want to focus on NXT at all as he is preparing to focus to XFL. He is putting all of the ideas solely on Triple H. It is up to him to clash against Cody Rhodes and the Elite and AEW by using NXT to compete directly at AEW for the Wednesday Night War. Now certainly this is one thing for sure that both companies are making use of their superstars very greatly. The use of Finn Balor returning, his main roster run wasn't that great. I really wish they have returned more superstars back to NXT, Aleister Black, Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, those guys have been underutilized by the WWE. Their in-ring performance is very, very vastly different from their NXT career run. AEW is doing the same. They are shying away from WWE's culture of if you're a big man and you have the charisma, even if you're small and they and you have the charisma and people have your back they will still follow you but that is not what AEW wants they want to build those characters 
make people feel that they are behind him regardless of your height, regardless of your size. That what That is what matters between AEW and NXT. They want to show the best wrestlers in their co respective companies. And that is their certain plan. They are not going to do those BS of that big push for stars who are just big and they're not even have the full potential of a charisma even though it's rare that we see WWE using small stars such as Rey Mysterio and Daniel Bryan to main event push even though they Vince McMahon and Triple H really wants the bigger guy to have the push that's not what AEW and NXT does no matter how small or big you are as long as you entertain the crowd you are AEW or NXT guys I will give my final overall performance for both shows I really think AEW did very good on their opener it was certainly a banger but also NXT did not want to lag behind and I really do think that both shows deserve an A plus on their respective episodes even though there are some matches that weren't really interesting I will still give it an A plus because the returning stars that they're gonna use has been a huge pop for the crowd certainly I loved it this is basically day one of the war they are just showing their firepower their star studded star power for the components for the upcoming Wednesday Night War next week I'm certainly excited for that Finn Balor and Tommaso Ciampa and Jack Hager it's those guys are certainly gonna be great in the long run in their respective companies and they will be the weapon of choices for next week's show and I'm very excited for week two of the Wednesday Night War hopefully this goes for a long time full of opportunities for any indie wrestlers out there New Japan Ring of Honor stars could go to AEW NXT whenever they wish it's gonna be a full blast of wrestling ladies and gentlemen I hope you guys enjoyed this channel please make sure you leave a like share and subscribe and see you on the next video peace